Number five, know what an ionic bond is and what affects the strength of an ionic bond. So an ionic bond is just one kind of chemical bond. Remember, covalent's the other kind. We're going to study that in chapter seven, chapter eight, I guess. So it's one kind of chemical bond. where oppositely charged ions form and attract each other to hold an ionic compound together. And in fact, it holds it together quite tightly. That's why they're rigid and hard. OK, so one kind of chemical bond where oppositely charged ions form and attract each other to hold an ionic compound. So you're not ever going to have an anion form if a cation doesn't form. And a cation can't form if an anion doesn't form. The electrons have to get transferred. If someone gains, somebody loses. So factors that affect the strength of an ionic bond. Anybody know one of two things that will make an ionic bond stronger? What makes um, atoms hold on to their electrons tighter? Stronger nucleus, stronger charge, and what's the other thing? Why are the nonmetals taker and the metals losers? Size. It's all about the size. So it's the same two things here. Factors that affect it is size of the ion. So smaller is tighter or stronger. And then the other one is charge on the ion. So if it's a plus 2, that's stronger than a minus or than a plus 1. It doesn't matter if it's plus or minus, but the charge on the ion, bigger charge, and I'll just say positive or negative, is tighter or stronger.